Hey, what's going on guys? This is Barrett's Play Fitness. Today is uh, Tuesday, January 5th. Um, it is gonna be a bench day. Uh, today's gonna be kind of a two-part deal, so I'm gonna get the initial bit of training here in the garage uh, with my friend Nat. Um, she can help me out with some lifting and whatever else, some spotting. Um, and then I'll transition and go uh, to the gym and, um, and do some accessory work and things like that there uh, so I can get that, all that accessory work done. Um, but yeah, so two-part deal here. Um, Gunning for, I'm looking at about eight reps um, at about 70%. So I'm thinking in the ballpark of like 365 for uh, three or four sets of, uh, of eights is kind of what I'm going for today. And then plus some accessory work and whatever else. I have a few things that I'd like to show you for warm up and accessory that I've been trying to implement. Um, so yeah, so here we go. All right. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so to start things out, I'm gonna try to warm things up. Just kind of stretch a little bit. I like to use my bands, um, you know, just to kind of get some movement, a little bit of resistance, a little bit of stretch, kind of warm up the shoulders. One of the things I like a lot for my shoulder warm up is just kind of a, a face pull. So hands, you know, somewhat close together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the band in my face and then try to spread it um, so that I spread my hands out as I come close to my face. So I get a little bit of extra tension on the shoulders. So pull it back and try to spread it out. So for these, I don't really have a set rep scheme. I don't really have a set set scheme. Um, for a lot of the warm up stuff, it's just kind of by feel based on how much time and energy I have. And then again, how everything feels. So if, if I feel pretty good, I'm, I'm warm, ready to go that day, I may not do much warm up work at all. Vice, if I'm feeling a little lethargic and tight, Maybe I'll do a little bit more, but it's all its all kind of how I feel on that day. I don't believe in having a very protracted, like warm up, um, you know, routine or practice. All right, um, and then another thing that I, I, I got recently was this wrist roller for some uh, grip and forearm strength. And I have just been playing with um, using this kind of before my bench days, just kind of warm up my grip and warm up my forearms and get you know, get my arms a little activated. Um, so I got 45 pounds on here and I just roll it. So the other thing is, you know, you can end up rolling it all the way up or whatever, or I can just roll it to a piece and just kind of throttle it and just work on how that feels, kind of throttling the weight. Um, and again, you know, this is just something I'm practicing with. I haven't had this for very long and I haven't been able to play with it for very, you know, very many iterations. So I'm still kind of getting used to it myself. I'm not sure how it'll feel in terms of like value, um, for, for my exercise, if it'll like really get me feeling good for the workout or not, or if it's going to be one of those things that'll just exhaust me and end up being kind of like, you know, annoying. So, you know, this is, I guess more than anything. I don't have anything like super definitive to say on this, um, but really what I'm trying to kind of demonstrate to you guys is trying different things and like just thinking outside the box and being willing to try different different modalities and you know try a different idea. Um, but make sure that when you do stuff like that, you have a reason. Like there's a justification to, to do the thing. We don't want to just do things just to do things. There, there should be a purpose or an application. So in this case, again, I think wrist and forearms kind of waking up, getting some blood flow. I think we'll have an application in the bench. So I'll maybe do one or two more iterations of this, a little bit more of the, uh, the, the face pulls, uh, just to warm up the shoulders and arms, and then move into the bench. And hopefully that'll translate to, you know, a good, warm, um, stable feeling, you know, in my arms and my shoulders, so I don't feel like I'm, uh, I'm gonna be too unstable or um, too cold. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> we